So in this video here, we're going to show you the process of replacing the OLED display screen on a cycle satiator battery charger. If the OLED screen on your satiator has broken, you're going to want to order an OLED screen repair kit from Grin. Now, the tools that I'm using for this are going to be a Phillips head, a flat head, and a small crescent wrench. I also use um, the plain card, it can be a credit card or whatever, and some isopropyl alcohol, and I also use a lint-free cloth. So the first thing you're going to want to do when replacing the screen is to get this label off. Now what I usually do is I'll try to get the corner off with my nail. If you can use a car that's easier, but sometimes it's just hard to get underneath. And then you just start peeling away at the label. And with it, you'll see this little plastic screen. Now, this is easy to scratch, so you're going to want to put this on a soft surface. When you look at this as well, you're going to see these two little white buttons. These can also fall out of the satiator very easily, so you're going to want to make sure that you don't lose those. Um, now you'll see there's all this actual adhesive left over, and that's where this card comes in. You're going to want to scrape that off before you put on the new label. All right, so it can also help to use some isopropyl alcohol. I have some in this container and this cloth to help loosen up that adhesive. All right, now that we have this part of the satiator clean, we're gonna use that flathead screwdriver to take off these little feet at the bottom of the satiator. I like to stick it onto the back here so that I don't lose any parts. And as you'll see while I'm doing this, is that there's some Phillips screws hiding underneath these feet. Take the Phillips screwdriver and it's and we should be able to pull this top off here, or the bottom off really. Alright, so if you look over here, there's this orange tab which has traces that connect the satiator board to the OLED screen. Now if you look at this white part here and right underneath that little black part, um, that's actually a tab that you'll be releasing with the small crescent wrench. There shouldn't be any force involved. It should come out pretty easy. So now what we can do is we can turn our satiator back over, push that orange tab from behind, and that will release the screen. And you can pick it up and just pull it through like that. So once you remove the old OLED screen, you're going to want to use the one that you got from the kit. Now if you look at it, there's a tab here that protects the front of the screen, and on the back there's also a protector for this adhesive that will hold the screen in place. So first you're going to want to take off that protective layer for the adhesive, making sure not to touch it too much, and then we're going to fish this orange tab through this hole. So bending it somewhat to get it going straight on into there. It's fast and right. So now the screen might pop out on the top. Let's take that tab off. And now we're going to grab that plastic cover. This might be a good time to make sure that it's clean as well. Don't use anything too abrasive, otherwise it will scratch the screen up, which you don't want. Now we're going to grab our label and try to put it as flush as possible. Once we've placed it down, it's good to pat it down with your thumbs a little bit. And then go over it with your card just to get a nice even press. Once you're at this stage, you're going to want to flip your satiator back on its back. Make sure that you're lining up the base with the base of the satiator. It'll only go on one way, so if it's on wrong, you'll know. Also, it's good to make sure that this tab isn't getting in the way, so it might be good to press it down a little bit. And press it down into place. And then before we start screwing them in, we're actually going to screw backwards. Just a half turn to make sure that we're in the thread. You'll feel a click when it's right, and then we'll start screwing in the right direction. Now we're going to plug it in and make sure that everything is 
functioning as it should. And there you have it, a fully functioning OLED screen for your satiator.